start. Go live. Oh no. It's all to put protection on there. Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome to our live sale. Cloud protection today. Because I feel like that's always one of the things we get asked the most. I'm just going to close this door so we don't have any chaos coming through. All right. Let's see. Got one on Instagram. Hi, SCG. And I've seen you a couple of times. I think you were in the store the other day, if I remember correctly. Welcome, welcome. All right, guys, feel free to interact with us, type in comments, questions, anything. We love the interaction. Um, it just helps us. Don't make us make all the jokes. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not going to lie. Today feels like a big Monday to me. But uh, yeah. That's because it's our Monday. It is our us, Monday. For us. So we're like, us oh, keep us awake. Keep us alive. <laughs> all right. Um, so protection. So that's probably the number one thing you get asked, especially empaths, which most people are empaths. Most people are empaths, and lately everybody seems to be becoming aware of it. Yes. So we got some great things if you feel like you're an empath and you're like, crap, what can I do to not have that in my life? Like mm. that extra added energy that's draining you or um you know just unwanted stuff that you're like i don't want this why why can't i get rid of it well maybe we should put a barrier up mm -hmm. or at least a filter yes to help uh not give as much hello mama bear i see mama. a couple of the, i see a couple people on tiktok on this end hi peoples all right so um what do you got on your side you know like you because i'm oh, i feel well. like we need to start on crystals okay well then let's definitely start on crystals um i'm gonna start off with a bang here with gold sheen obsidian this beautiful star is this the sweet spot that is the sweet spot sweet. can everybody see that yep all right so this is a gold sheen obsidian star it looks like this from the side and then there's like this carved thing carved into the top um Obsidian in general is very protective. It helps keep you in your body. Most black stones are good protective stones. Um, they're grounding. They help keep you in your body. They strengthen your earth star chakra, which is below your feet. Um, connect you to the earth. Helps you to like run energy better. A lot of the time when we say people are ungrounded, it's because they don't have a good connection to the earth. And a lot of what you feel like you need protection from is just the energy that's kind of building up in your body because you don't have a good way to discharge it. So obsidian is one of those great grounding stones that's also protective. Um, it'll help you. This is kind of like a sleek, sneaky stone. It'll help you like sneak under the radar uh, with people. If there's people who are like out looking for trouble, obsidian will help you just kind of like slide on by. It's a very like subtle stone um yeah well the just thinking of the native americans using the obsidian because technically that's that's lava right like the, the it, it is, is lava. lava lava glass yeah lava so, glass. so in the sense if we think about it when when the lava is coming out of the volcano it kind of <laughs> is sneaky <laughs> exactly the other thing that's sneaky about this stone is like you can polish it to a nice round point but then if it breaks it's like sharp as hell oh, so uh, yeah so don't get on its bad side <laughs> so this this bad boy will protect you in two ways yes <laughs> if you need a fight <laughs> i like it i like it and every piece of obsidian is a little bit different and gold sheen is also good for like your solar plexus chakra which is a really important chakra for protection too which um, I feel like that's the place that most people that say they're empathic, like that's usually the place that I pick up on that they yes. usually have issues, that they're usually having stomach aches or any sort of troubles in the stomach area. And that's Absolutely. like the first area that like all of your, the unwanted emotions or energies go to. It's like, nope, let's go to that area. Let's hit that one first. You are absolutely right. And like when I'm doing healing sessions on people, I find cords and things like that the most often in the solar plexus. It's it's the power area. So it's the place where people have power struggles. It's the place where they will attack you if they want to take your power. And it's just, it's, it's a good place to look. So this gold sheen obsidian is going to protect your solar plexus and your earth star. How much is that guy? 
This one is $72. Oh, that's not bad for that not big chunk of hunk of guy. Mm -hmm. mm. Very cool carving. Well, you guys let us know. We are, so we go live twice a week, uh, Tuesdays during the afternoon here at 1230. Hello, Julie. And then again on Thursdays, um, usually Tuesday we have a theme. We saw it, protection was um, one of the big things because we've been getting it asked a lot. At least I know I have. I don't know about you. Oh, yeah. Seven on the floor. But always it always protection. is like, what can I use for protection? But there's two ways to pay. At, or no, more than two ways. Venmo, Goddess Elite LLC. Or PayPal, Goddess Elite LLC at gmail.com. Or if you want something, just let us know and we can send you a secured payment through email. So here's another uh, carving made of obsidian. This is a uh, regular black obsidian, but it's this beautiful dragon skull. Um, if you're a dragon, I mean, nobody's gonna mess with you. Everybody might try to mess with you, but uh, <laughs> they're not gonna succeed very well. So this will help scare them off. And then we also have this beautiful obsidian tower. This again is regular black obsidian, but I like a piece like this with obsidian because it's like, it's got these nice, big long uh sides that are very reflective and you can just you see how smooth they are you can literally see your reflection in them and you can do scrying with uh things like obsidian yeah because it's so shiny people i don't think always realize they always think of the clear um <clears throat> clearer um stones that are better for scrying but no obsidian also because you can get it's got that reflectiveness to it yeah obsidian is probably the best stone for scrying if you want to use it for that. It's also good for meditation and things like that. And it being a point, you can actually direct the energy either yes. outward or inward. Go away. Right. Or stab people, whatever yeah. you feel. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not condoning violence, but if you chose it today, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you can also, I'm not going to say I've never done this. Like you can stab yourself in a chakra. Like if you, if you feel like people are attacking your solar plexus, you can like stab yourself in the solar plexus and it'll sort of, explode that energy you know and like get it to dissipate really quickly oh, okay mm -hmm. it's good to know it doesn't have to be like a hard stab it's just a, <laughs> it's done with intention we're not we're not we're not saying to hurt yourself yeah. <laughs> it's more so uh a intentional like thing exactly so uh this gold chain obsidian star is on sun one and then the dragon and tower are Already gonna be on sun two sun two all right, next up with crystals, we have pyrite. I am a huge fan of pyrite. I carry it every day. It is one of the main protective stones I uh, use. It's This is a very solar plexus one. This is very good for helping you defend your power, like energetically, definitely, but even like mentally and emotionally, if people are trying to like play mind games Julie, with you. Julie, I will trip do you my best. Um, we don't have access to that group, so that's the reason why it's not streaming to that group. Really? So let us know that we can be able to stream into there. So Pyrite's a good stone for helping you defend your own honor. Like it'll you know, sometimes when you're having psychic battles with people, you'll just feel so drained that you don't even know, like, how to retort verbally and defend yourself. But, like, this will restore you from the ground up energetically, and then mentally it'll sharpen your wits. So, you know, if somebody's trying to, like, insult you, you can, like, sling one back and then that's twice as sharp. Or you can just stand your ground and be the, the, you know, the bigger person. All right. Only problem with that, Julie, is if you posted it in there, I can't read comments. So if somebody's asking anything, I can't see them on my end. So I want to try and actually like post in there via my end. So you let me know though if there's any comments because I can't see them on my end. So we've got a lot of beautiful pyrite. I really love this pyramid. Um, there's Again with the egg points. that we were showing off. Yes. But the pyramid can also just kind of stand there and like really guard your space. Um, that's the thing about pyramids and towers is they will like radiate enough energy to guard your space. So they could be good in any place where you spend a lot of time, like an office or a bedroom, a living room, anywhere you spend a lot of time, anywhere you start feeling yourself getting drained or bombarded. Um, we have this beautiful pirate tower. This is really high quality pyrite. It's just, it's so solid. It's like, it's got just enough pits to kind of let you know that it's real, but it's like, it's really solid, really heavy, really chunky. 
How much are those pieces? Sorry. I'm gonna ask this? Those. No, you're good. Um, this tower is fifty dollars. Oh, have... that's a wow. Okay. Really, really Thanks. nice. That's price. a nice size. I'm gonna yeah. actually put okay. this over on the goddess. Absolutely. Number one. All right, goddess one for that. And then this uh, pirate pyramid is a mere thirty-five dollars. Also a great bargain. This is some of the highest quality pyrite I have ever seen. And this beautiful pyrite egg, which is a good carrying size, is twenty. And that egg, too, just being an egg, it's all about manifesting and rebirthing or any type of fertility at, on top of the protection. So, exactly. um, you know, kind of put in the two in one multi, multi use. Yep. Got a couple other pieces of pirate here before we move on. Also, that goddess. This is, oh, yeah, the goddess. The goddess to remind yourself that you are a goddess and you don't need this shit. Well, so, you know, she got a these people away from you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was literally like, wow, you got the donka donks, <laughs> goddess. I love it. Who the fuck why? <laughs> this is 30, though, but mm -hmm. a nice, nice body shape for the goddess. Kind of, kind of jelly. I kind of want her body shape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there are benefits to being a human, even though it sucks sometimes. Yes. Um, and then this is Chuck. He has a parrot skull. Um, Chuck likes going to late night diners and playing poker. And he is very protective. And if anyone tries to mess with you, he will kick their butt. All right. Last well, Chuck's going to protect you either way. Yep. <laughs> And then last but not least, before we get off the pirate train, we have these awesome massage ones. I love these. Like, they're just, they're, the shape of them is so cool. It's like this, the length of a palm stone. Um, it's got a narrower end and like a really thicker end. Um, so they're a good clutching or carrying size. They are also good massage wands. Again, if you feel like there's an area of your body that's getting psychically attacked, you can like massage it there with this and it'll help the energy dissipate and tell those people to go away. And again, so we got some new people joining us. If you want anything, just let us know. We will gladly put it aside for you. And we have a couple different payment options that uh, we can do. We can do Venmo, Goddess Elite LLC, PayPal, Goddess Elite LLC at Gmail. Or if you set us a private message, we can send you an email with a secure payment program through our um, store uh, POS system. And this pirate one is $18. We'll put got, that on number 11 with Chuck. And we've got quite the shiny row of pyrite. We do. And you know How what? Um, I think, did we have pyrite? We do. That's yeah. right. We have a pyrite okay. bracelet. <clears throat> if you like wearing things, which I'm all keen, like I'm always wearing something. I'm, I know Seven also wears stuff. Um, I'm especially because we both are readers and healers. Uh, I always wear something just because I need to have that on me. If not, then yeah. Definitely absorbing way too much energies. Yeah, wearing things can be a super easy way to take your crystals with you. They're a good way to like, um, you know, because the hands and arms are kind of like your inlets and outlets for energy too. So if you wear it on your left hand, it'll help filter what's coming in. If you wear it on your right hand, it'll help filter what's going out. So if you feel like you're losing energy, you can put it on your right wrist. If you feel like you're picking up on other people's crap, you can put it on your left wrist. Or you can do what I do, which is always wear matchy ones. There you go. And this guy's ten dollars. So if you wanted a, a, a bracelet, pirate pirate bracelet, let us know. Got that on goddess. Uh four, excuse me. Um let's see. What else you got on your end? Ooh, uh we can go a lot of different directions with this. So let's try something a little less conventional. This is blue calcite. So this isn't as much of a protective stone in the sense that like it's going to kick people's butt for you, but it does help a lot with psychic bombardment, which is what Ooh. a lot of people are looking for protections from when they're just feeling everybody's energies and everybody's feelings and hearing everybody's thoughts and like all this stuff. And it's keeping you up at night and you're just like frazzled and you feel like you're poked. You know, blue calcite is kind of like a blanket that'll go over that and soften everything for you. Chuck is 50. <laughs> Sorry. Big Chuck. So blue calcite, good protective stone, especially if you just you feel yourself kind of overwhelmed. And especially if you're really telepathic or really sensitive. This is just like, it's a nice nurturing stone that'll help the world seem like a softer place. It'll filter what's coming in, making, you know, only the most relevant stuff come through. I really like blue calcite. 
because I mean, there's just a lot of energy going on and people are becoming increasingly psychically and empathically aware. This is a really good stone for anyone who's feeling overwhelmed by the energies. I also feel like that stone's just a good stone for like you kind of filtering yourself in a sense of like what you speak. Um, Maybe you come off too blunt or too harsh. um, So that kind of softens the blow when you're kind of getting all these energies. You're kind of like rethinking like, okay, how am I going to say this nicely versus snapping? Absolutely. And as someone who sometimes has that problem, it's probably one that I could be working with more. So we're going to put this on, uh, I really want to put it on the moon one. So we're going to put it on moon. Or, you mean uh, the, no, uh, the goddess. Goddess, okay. goddess, yeah. goddess six, because Virgos, you know, often like are very aware of things, but are too polite to say anything about it. Yep. That's my Virgo moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Um, let's switch up just a little bit. Cool. I've got, we've actually got a protection kit that does have some crystals in it. Woo! <clears throat> So this protection kit actually has black salt, AT light. Uh, I believe that is fire quartz as well as black tourmaline. And we have a protection oil. This guy, yeah. Um, carry stones for grounding and protection. Use the oil on yourself. Set your intentions of protection and light the candle. Sprinkle salt around doorways and windows to guard against negativity. Wow. This, I thought guys, of everything. Yeah, and this guy's 20. 20 for all that. That is a lot of protection on a lot of different fronts. I mean, like, if you want to let the universe know you're serious, you want to do multiple things, and I think that protection kit is a great Yeah, thing. especially since you're at home. You're home. Like, you, I don't think people realize, like, we grab energies from all the places we visit. So it just, like, clings to us. So when we go home, guess what? We just brought all that energy to our house mm -hmm. and it's clung to fabrics or wherever. And it's like, you want, you want that place to be your happy place, but <laughs> you're like, mm, yep, this energy is kind of funky now. So kind of cleansing that and getting that rid of that would definitely help. Yeah. So salt is really good for anything. And I mean, it's a little outside the scope of this uh, sale, but uh, I always want to recommend selenite for, you know, clearing your home clearing any uh lingering energies that aren't serving you either like in your space or in your body i forgot to also bring in some of the the bells and stuff oh bells yeah i'll be right back I'm yes gonna go grab those. i love those, these things well because that clears that clears negativity yeah so, all right so get get prepared for some pretty sounds people in the meantime you're just gonna have to listen to me talk all right um so here is a malachite sphere. Malachite, crap, malachite was my reference point for where I'm supposed to hold things, and now it's up in the air. So, um, so malachite is a good one for helping alert you to the presence of danger and helping you steer clear of it. It's also good, again, if you're kind of a meek person and find yourself getting trapped in power struggles, um, with like really strong-willed people who just always seem to have the upper hand and the last word. Like Malachite helps you take control of your own destiny. It helps you seize your power. It is really good for the solar plexus chakra as well as the heart chakra. So like protecting your will, protecting your power, protecting your energy. So you can hear cling clangy songs. And here comes the bell choir. Um but yeah, so this Malachite Sphere is $150. Really nice piece. There's a lot of visual interest in this, and it's going to help you avoid danger and take your power back. All right. All right. We actually have a lot of bells. I don't ever realize that we have these many bells, but we do. Um, so we actually have little guardian bells. Um, there are a bunch of different ones. There's one specific for good luck, but bells in general kind of break up that negativity. Um, these, I actually have one in my car. I hang it from my um, rear, view, min, blah, blah, rear view mirror, the front mirror, um, just the kind of when I'm moving. It makes sounds and it breaks up any kind of negativity, you know, road rage, <laughs> all that jazz, anxiety. And just all the crap that's out there in the world, you know, it's like the roads are like the arteries of yeah, society. They, I think they give us a lot of anxiety. And you know what? I forgot what freaking prices are. Uh, all... They're $12. Okay. Well, good good thing you remember that. And I don't know if you heard her ringing it, but those guardian bells just have the loveliest little tinkle. They're very, yeah, very, very, very subtle, subtle, but very sweet. 
Nothing crazy. Then we got brass symbols. These can also, um, depending on how you hold them, and uh -huh. like, I'm like, they have to touch. They have to touch. <laughs> so, Joan, one of our readers, will go around and then cling, clang with these throughout. And I'm sure, I, I know Hank's on here, so I know Hank's Hello. also. Um, but we got several different sizes, so they're going to make different tones. But that, again, going to break up uh, sounds. These are 15, they're brass. And then we have some that are heavier and have this even more like loud and assertive clang and they've got brass straps. I believe those ones are 20s, 20. I really like the Tangshas, the little hand symbols. Yeah. They're just, you can like feel the waves of energy coming out. I don't out. think it's just we like have any at such the a... moment I didn't, that I saw out there at least. I think we have more in the back. Okay, then we might have to put those up because I didn't see cool. any out. But um. Oh, great for motorcycles. That is a good, good point, Sandy. Wow. Um, especially uh, the little bells, the guardian bells, um, just because people don't pay attention to motorcyclists, which is sad. I've probably seen more motorcycle accidents in my life than I've ever seen car accidents. Damn. Um, so um, then we got the big, big, big guys. Uh, this one is an eight inch handle brass bell, $14. And you want, you want to do the bell fire? Yay! And that one. Oh, man, louder. this is a loud one right yeah. up my alley. <laughs> Melissa's in here like, why are you guys making so much noise? <laughs> Which um, one? Right. Yep, the pirate egg. Okay. Yep, I got it. So this big, loud guy could, like, work at a cathedral. It is very loud. It's $28. And this has a lot of elaborate carving. It's Tibetan. It's got a Derg... I'm going to butcher the name. It's got Tibetan stuff on it. Sorry, I'm an ugly American. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's cool. It's very cool. And uh, this one's going to go on the recently vacated by the pirate egg goddess three. All right. Well, I got a little Miss Violet used the bell today. Ah, Yay! That was Courtney's little one that went around clearing... You want to ring for room service? I'm the <laughs> housekeeping. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. Freaking Tommy Boy is in my head now. Damn it, Sandy. All right. Um, let's see. All right. Are we going back to crystals? Um, we can. We can definitely jump back. I'm just okay. trying to go break up some of that monotony a little bit. Yeah, totally. But Let's take a brief crystal break. So this is black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is definitely one of the best protective stones on the market. It will protect against other people's like emotional or mental negativity. Like if you have toxic people in your work environment or in your family or whatever, like it's definitely gonna help them keep their crap to themselves and not like be getting you down with it. Um, and also, like, because I know a lot of us have to work or live around a lot of machinery and stuff. And machinery, like, most of us don't feel it that acutely, but it really, really wears down our energy bodies. If you work around, like, a lot of refrigerators or computer mainframes or, you know, whatever. If you work, like, in an office, in a kitchen, you know, you're being constantly bombarded by these things. Black tourmaline is great for, like, reducing and grounding all of that. This giant, very puffy, beautiful hand-sized heart is only $40. And we have this black tourmaline sphere. I was going to say, we got a good chunk of black tourmaline in stock. We so do. It just depends on what you want and what, you know, what your price point is. Black tourmaline is perennially popular these days and with good reason. People are really loving its protective qualities. It's very calming for that reason, that it like sucks up all the negativity that's making you anxious. You're looking for an amethyst art? I might. I actually think I have one. I think we do uh, have maybe one. Maybe you're right back. It's on the our table. Yep. All right, so this black tourmaline is going to go on Sun Capricorn. Because Capricorns don't put up with people's BS. And we can find a stand for it. What other... Oh, so speaking of EMFs, um, we're talking about electrical, electromagnetic bombardment. Shungite is probably the single best stone for dealing with that. This is Shungite. I know it's hard to tell the difference visually between these black stones. Shungite has a little bit more of a dull, slightly charcoal gray finish. Um, 
and it scratches a little bit more easily than black tourmaline. Black tourmaline tends to have like fine lines in the surface of it, and obsidian is usually just like straight black and very, very shiny. But Shungate's really good for um, protecting and guarding the body from EMFs. Um, it's also carbon-based, so it's very friendly to the body. I know a lot of people who put Shungate in their water. And this lovely sphere is a mere $50. And this is a chonker, dude. This is probably like a good four inches wide. And then we have these little Shungite palm stones. I like carrying things in my pockets. So like the palm stone size is only $6. Um, you could put one of these in each of your pockets and be super protected from all that electromagnetic energy, all those computers. If you feel like you're getting depleted during the course of the workday, especially if you have to like stare at a screen all day and you just, you like, you find yourself with headaches and just like feeling okay. kind of gross, um, it could be EMFs. So <laughs> definitely like that's something you need protection from. It's not always other people, folks. Uh, Rubia, I have two, um, they are the Chevron Amethyst. I'm gonna have you hold this little one. This guy is 12. Yay! Nice uh, chevron amethyst. And then I've got this big bad boy. Now, this is the last one, the bigger one. And this guy's 45. You see some of that really dark purple, that nice chevron in there. That's a really nice piece. Yeah. Nice. You see how big that is. It's a nice size, nice thickness. Mm -hmm. Say what? Probably three diameter at the top? Um, at least. I would say maybe even four across. So, and then that little beady guys. The beady. I got a whole bowl the, full the, of those. The beady guys are 45 millimeters, which is like... You know, the smaller one is 12. One and a quarter, one and three quarters inches across. And they're very cool. And amethyst is also a protective stone. It's, it's almost more protective in that like law of attraction kind of sense that it'll take all the negativity out of your life so that you won't be attracting negativity. Um, if you raise your vibrations enough, then the, all that negative crap is not going to affect you. Not saying that, like, you're a bad person if it is affecting you. Like, it's very, very hard to keep your vibrations consistently high in the world as it is now. But, like, you know, the higher you vibe, the less it's going to be able to drag you down. All right, I will put that aside for you, little Rubia. Little one? Yep. Yay! All right, well, then this big one is still available, guys. Big old amethyst heart. Well, that's the last one for that life. one. Yep. $45 on this boy. He was going to put you on Libra because Libras are all about love. All right. And I need a pen. Apparently. Mm. I, that's the one I, thing I, I, I can have. I have one in my purse. I might have one. Where's my Libra? I might have one in my bag too. So. Okay. I'll, I'll Sharpie. All right. In the meantime, uh, as long as we're on the topic of amethyst, I picked up a couple of these amethyst palm stones. These are also chevron, which means they have that kind of white zigzaggy stuff in there. That one's like super dark purple. Yeah, this I one is it. super dark. Like they're, these are really good quality, even though they're chevron, they're also like very high concentration of pure amethyst. Um, Those had to be down deep too. Yeah, definitely. So this palm stone, good size palm stone, probably two and a half inches in diameter, uh, probably close to an inch thick at its thickest, $16. Very good price. Um, got a few of these. Here's another one. Uh, same price, $16. Let us know if you want either of these. Well, we're gonna put them on Goddess 5. Next up, since we are still talking about protective stones, here is garnet. So garnet is really good for strengthening your root chakra. And the root is another chakra that's really important in grounding and being connected with the earth. It helps you draw energy upwards from the earth and also like discharge energy into the earth, which keeps you balanced, it keeps you whole. And, um, you know, I have seen in my work as a shamanic practitioner that people with the most, like, grounding and balance and wholeness to their energy bodies are the least subject to psychic attack. But people who are just, like, frayed, ungrounded, have holes in their souls, um, will be really overwhelmed and really drained easily. Garnet is a great shield for people like that who are ungrounded. I it think helps that's you get probably why they gave that stone as an engagement ring. 
Quite possibly. To pre if if you know the husband or or the partner was away because back in the day they would be gone for a long, long uh, sailing know, expeditions and whatnot. Yep, yeah, or just if they were in battle. That yeah. they were being protected in some way or another. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, and it's just got all, like, it's got the black in there, but it also has mm -hmm. that dark red, so you're grounding as well as being protected. So, yep. Um, real quick, little Rubia, um, just make sure you send me a message on Instagram, because I can't, for some reason, they won't let me message you guys for some reason. It's been funky trying to do stuff. So just send me a message so that I can send you over an invoice or um, however you wanted to pay for that. Huh? So this garnet tower is $48. I'm just going to show you a couple other pieces of garnet. Um, we have these spears that are $35, very high quality, probably about two inches round. And then we have this cool uh, shaped garnet. It's it's faceted. Yeah, it's, it kind of reminds you of like old school gems, like or yeah, just like how a gem would be like that. Yeah, exactly. So it's very fancy looking, but only twenty dollars for this nice big bad boy, very high quality garnet. And these are all going on the Sun Eleven. Awesome. Uh -oh. Maybe. All right, maybe that one that decided one. to go on its own. All right, so we, <laughs> we, we got a deserter, but that's okay. It just likes to roll. It was it was being that, that guy today. So, uh, shall we move on from crystals? For Let's day? talk about some evil eye stuff. Cool. Because we have a crap ton of evil eye stuff. All right, well, we can start with this uh, evil eye bag gift kit. And Lori, you're the one who put this together, aren't you? I was the one that put this together. So, uh very much overseas, uh, especially in the Italian culture. Big, big, and you're Italian too. <laughs> no, my name is Italian. I'm I mean, Italian. You, yeah, you are. Yeah, I know if you mean. Um, <laughs> you're partially sunrise. <laughs> uh, I mean, in there, it's in there. You got, you got the blood in there. Quite possibly. Um, so, with that being said, the Italians were very big on like curses and. Uh, like people talking negative about them that they're like, no, I'm going to block you or give you back that. So they would wear the evil eye or um, in Sicily, they'll wear the horns um, to block out any negativity or like literally to reflect it back to you. Like you want to give me some, some smack? Nope. It's going to go back to you. So this uh, bag it's a nice, cute little bag. There's some stuff inside actually. Yeah. We're going to open this up. So you can use this um, as a, a makeup bag or however you want. Um, we've got the bracelet, the evil eye bracelet that you just tie. Ooh, this um, is a oh shower steamer. Yeah, which is very cool because cool, cool. it really is just going to cleanse your whole body. Like I said, every we were talking about energies clinging to you. You're going to literally wash them down the drain with that steamer. Hell yeah! And then we have a keychain. Yeah, because so protect why your not? house, your they car, can... everything you got a key for. Yeah. So reflecting that again back to uh, everybody else that is trying to be negative. And then we have the evil eye um, candle and it has a little bit of a, a affirmation. Now it's, I weave this spell through sight and sound, sight. touch, or sight, sound, touch, and smell through earth, water, air, and fire. A web of protection this magic will sire. By the lady and the Lord, I cast this and penetrate impenetrable board so awesome that's kind of cool so that guy's how much for the whole kit it is 36 dollars for the whole kit which is a real bargain because i feel like yeah those these items by themselves cost which cost actually we might have it by us on my end i have one i have oh, it over here cool i have the little steamer the sour steamers um five, they're five dollars nice um i also have one for psychic like the the connection that cleanses that out awesome. and everything as well. So, all right. And then speaking of evil eye stuff, we have this really cool hamster hand hanging. Like we tend to get evil eye and stuff uh, frequently, and then sell it out super fast. Yeah, it's very popular it's right very, now. Very popular. So you know, if you're in here in a couple weeks and this isn't here, uh, it might have just sold out. But hopefully, we will have gotten something else. 
But in the meantime, if you want any of our evil eye stuff, I would suggest snatching it up quickly. It smells like hotcakes. Yeah, and we have a whole section. Like, we literally have a section of just evil eye products. Um, stuff for your house, stuff for you to put in the car. Bracelets. Vice jewelry. versa, yeah. Like, a little bit of everything. Oh, that's right. I got the bracelets right here. Yes, there's actually one with the St. Benedict, I think, on there, too. Oh, So St. Benedict is also a protector. Yeah, this the St. Benedict one is super jangly. Yes. I am loving it. All right, so we've got, we actually have three of these right here. Oop, one of the little eyes just fell off something. I don't know, but, um, so we've got this black evil eye one with this light blue evil eye one. And then this is the St. Benedict one that Lori's talking about. It's got little charms, it jingles, it's really cool. It's got more of a Christian vibe. Um, if you want to, you know, have Jesus and angels helping protect you. Which, speaking of, we do carry angel stuff, which I did bring some of that yeah, in, if you're into that. If you're into the archangels, they are also protectors. Yes. So, if you need that protection in your house. Actually, I think it's right in front of you. The uh, Michael uh, incense. Oh, right in front of me. Yep. Here we go. So Archangel, now, the Archangel incense. Michael incense. And then, I think... Do something else, Archangel Michael? Uh, like yes. Shield, it's this is little this... shield coin. Not sure on the price on these, but I think it's no more than about 3 or $4 at most. Yeah. Well, we got a whole section of Archangel products. Yeah. And we have some statues of Archangel Michael. Yeah. So these, this is somebody that I always um, talk about, uh, especially if somebody is, is of the belief uh, or believes in the Archangels, to call in. Um, to help you if you're cleansing the house and you ha you feel like you have an earthbound spirit or um, other types of entities in the house to help remove. What else we got? Any other uh, evil eye stuff? Oh, we've got a couple yes, things over we there. Yes, we do. We got earrings. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, earrings. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. talk. We got some earrings. And those guys are 22, and it actually has what, like, a little bit on the bottom. The evil eye is a popular and powerful protective talisman widely recognized throughout the world. It is said to deflect negativity directed towards you. So that's the whole purpose of evil eye. Awesome. And then, I don't know if we have them right now, but we usually have rings and or necklaces. That yes, uh, the rings we probably do have. Um, Melissa took them with her to New York, so they're probably in those boxes that she just brought back. Um, but yeah, we definitely have those. And what else? And what's that? This one's uh, another, um, keychain. With key the chain. Tree of Life, along with the... I like the keychain, because it's, like, subtle. You're not, like, you don't have to wear it all the time and, like, announce that you're always on the defensive, you know, but it can always be working for you. So, yeah, and this guy is $6. So, not bad. Sweet. Um, but what else we got over there? Uh, looks like back to mostly crystals is already. Okay, besides the, oh. the oils and the we candles. Got, okay, we got candles. Let's talk about candles. Okay. Go away, evil. Um, this is basically, you know, the name says it all. Go away, evil. If you feel like you are being pursued or hounded or ensnared by evil spirits or people's evil intentions toward you, um, this will make them go away you know because like we do have a lot of free will in this universe and it is said that things can only harm you if you allow them to right um and you know sometimes that seems like it's easier said than done but like if we really mean it if we really say go the f away from me and we mean it like they really they they don't have a choice they have to leave so this one is four fifty. most of our uh, seven day glass candles are in the four to six dollar range that's which is my, I mean, I feel, yeah, I feel like it's a steal. Yeah. I feel it, like other places charge a little bit more. It is. And I mean, that's like way less than a dollar a day. Um, oh, right. We have a few others of this type. We have like the Jinx Breaker, the, we have reversible candles, which, uh, you know, if somebody's like put a hex on you or something, that'll help to reverse, reverse anything. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Or just even think about people that are talking smack about you or yep. slander or anything. Mm -hmm. Nope. You can, you can take that back. I don't need that. Exactly. And words do hurt people. So, you know, if you if you think you're like a great person, but you talk shit, you know, just like, just like, you know, keep in mind where your energy is going. Don't be the source of your own karma. So these ones, 
I love these. I, I just I love I've, these. get the f out. <laughs> get the f out of here. So uh, again, Saturn. This is the, and these are the astro uh, candles. So these include a candle, a blessing, and a booklet. But there's also sprays for them. So there's also the get the f out spray. Um, so, you know, you're cleansing yourself, but then we also have the curse breaker, curse breaker. and these guys are two, oh, I'm sorry, 30, 30, but 30. there's, you get a lot. Yeah. You know, you, these are real I'm fancy. telling you, you get other stuff in here. So, and the tube itself, I think is worth several. I would reuse this, you know, for other, other things. Stuff in there. Exactly. And then we've got a spray yep. for the sun. Curse breaker, curse one. breaker sun. And oh. one for Saturn. All right. Roll reversal. Yep. Uh, Saturn, I call to you, clear away my ills, stress, and bother, clear from us what brings disease and pain, remove those who wish harm or, uh, to control me, banish those who attempt to abuse and bully me. That's right. And they I, say Saturn is such a bad guy. Everybody blames Saturn for their stuff, but like he can get rid of what's bothering you. Yep. You just gotta fucking heal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry for my language. Mm -hmm. I just... And then the sun, in the sun's light, I am cleansed of the curses inflicted upon me and the ones I inflict upon myself, which is a good point. Unfortunately, we do cause a lot of our own problems through our limiting beliefs and decisions we've made. With the sun's rays, my true identity is revealed so I may grow in confidence and gain the favor of all around me. And then, um, again, ble the blessings herbal. Um, okay. So there's one for protection. Again, these these guys always have like the little mantra. Um, this one's guardian protection. That one's regular protection. But I love these. I They're love Coventry. These Coventry just makes awesome candles. The energy on this whole line of candles is so good. Um, but yeah. So and, and again, like you don't want to burn your candle with these on. Take it off and and say recite these words that they put with it. But this guy is 14. I'm not sure how much yours. This one is, is 16. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> Nice and chunky, tiny little guy. And then um, we have a smaller version of the protection. <coughs> Excuse me. And this has uh, black uh, frankincense, clove, and sandalwood, which those are great herbs, which we do have some of those herbs here. Sweet. Um, to, are we going to talk about herbs now? Um, I guess. We're going to try. We're going to try. We don't, we don't I'm not a lot about them. I'm not, a, a, I'm not a huge, herbalist. yeah, I'm not a person that really practices too much with herbs. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, eh, we're going we're gonna to try. We're going to try. You guys. We do have a book here, though. Thank God for books. Right. We have a bunch of books, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a bunch of books behind us about protection. So we're uh, going to be reading a couple snippets from Cunningham's Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs, if you like any of the info that we're presenting. So, um... We've got black salt and regular salt. We know salt repels or to yeah. um, protect a barrier salt, in general. Salt is very ionizing. So, like, it'll draw any, like, like energy that needs to be discharged. You know, it's kind of like the rounding reset. So, and these were, these are all weighed out and everything. Uh, regular sea salt um, is a dollar and then the black salt is a dollar seventy-five. Wow. So, Talk about budget. Right. Awesome. And then what do you want to talk about? You have lavender. I did have lavender in my hand. So, I mean, I have a bunch of stuff. I got clove. I got, yeah. Do you have clove? Yep. Clove. Lavender. Okay. Lavender is used, uh, worn to protect against the evil eye. It is oh. purification baths, um, which again, we're talking about, you know, law of attraction. If you don't have negative energy stuck to you, it's harder for it to come at you and harm you. Um, what else we got? Clothes. So, and then this is a dollar seventy-five for half an ounce. So it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Clove we just kind of talked about that it being in the protective candle. Um, it's grounding in general. Oh, oh. Uh, burned as an incense. Clothes attract riches, drive away hostile and negative forces, produce spiritual vibrations, and purify the area. Cloves are burned as an incense to stop others from gossiping about you. Oh. Great. I yeah, might need to. I want to burn this right now. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Lonely at the top, eh, Lori? Right. Three, three, three dollars for this, man. That's a big bag of clothes. Yeah, it is. A little bit of clothes. I love, way. That stuff is strong. But you know what? I love clothes, and I actually like to stick them in oranges and then sprinkle some cinnamon on those. And just, you get a nice, really beautiful smell. With yeah. All of that. Awesome. Tied awesome. together. Um, juniper berries. Juniper. I know that's in here. 
so surprised we had this because I was like, oh, we have a lot of herbs that I know. I I just don't. Yeah, but like I, (laughs) you guys cannot laugh at me, but I always thought of uh, juniper breeze from Bath and Body Works. (laughs) It smelled so good. I loved it. So juniper used throughout Europe as a protective herb. Juniper also guards against theft. Um, Oh. Juniper hung at the door protects against evil forces in person and is burned in exorcism rites. So I can get rid of your big demons to prevent them from coming in the house. This guy's two dollars for an ounce. Protects its wearer against accidents and attacks by wild animals. Guards against ghosts and sickness. I mean, that's um, like that's a long resume. I, and you can't eat these. <laughs> what can you eat these? I don't even know. You can put them in your gin. Okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's. I don't know also, I when carried or burned, juniper helps the psychic powers and breaks hexes and curses and drives off snakes. So what? whether it involves snakes, ghosts, demons, hexes, like you can get rid of it all. With wow! Juniper. Apparently, juniper is is something we all need in life right Apparently. now. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I don't know about you, but I deal with snakes every goddamn day, and I'm just sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> right there with you. All right, we got bay leaves, which bay leaves, I, I feel, are bay. multiple. They freaking have a multiple use. They, bay is a very solar plant, I know that. And the sun, you know, will just drive away negativity through the sheer power of its light. Well, and then just, it's also good for manifesting, because you write, on, like, yep. if you, you write whatever intentions you want on the bay leaf. It's a very burn good. burn it, it's like, boom. It's a very good money um, herb. It's also used in um, Peruvian shamanism as a substitute for coca leaf. We use it a lot in like Kintu's little oh, rituals. Okay. Um, this guy is, is 175 for half an ounce. And there's a bunch. Let me see how many leaves are in there. Bay is a protection and purification herb par excellence and is worn as an amulet to ward off negativity and evil, oh. burned or scattered during exorcism rituals. Placed in the windows to protect against lightning and hung up to prevent poltergeists from working any mischief in the house. Wow. Okay. So other stuff we didn't consider, lightning and poltergeists. Yes, especially the poltergeist thing. Don't ever always think of that. Um, Bay leaves mixed with sandalwood can be burned to remove curses and evil spells. Oh, nice. Did I have sandalwood here? No. I've got nettle leaf. I've got mugwort. I've got... I love nettle. I drink it every day. I, I even have mistletoe. Batteries. I don't know what the mistletoe... I mean, I know what mistletoe is for and other <laughs> right? but I think of it as a protector in a sense. Nettle. Okay, sprinkle nettle around the house to keep evil out and to send it back. Nettle is also thrown on a fire to avert danger, held in the hand to ward off ghosts, carried with yarrow to allay fear, and worn as an amulet to keep negativity far away. Huh. Uh, to remove a curse and send it back, stuff a pop with nettle or carry some in a satchet. So just having nettle on you is going to be protective awesome. against a variety of stuff, which I didn't know. I've got lots of it at home. And this is a half ounce. I mean, look, that's a lot. That is a lot. For a dollar seven five. Um, I said rosemary and mugwort. Those are mm. the ones I have. I don't know if you have any in there. I should have mugwort in here. Mugwort's very popular in magic. It is. I just always think of it as more so for dreams, but that's maybe just me. It says, when carrying mugwort, you cannot be harmed by poison, wild beasts, or sunstroke. Um, in, in a building, mugwort prevents elves and evil thinges from entering. That's not oh, the, the fae! The, the fae! So yeah. if, you don't, if you don't like the mischief fae, wear some mugwort, because then they will run away. Bunches of mugwort are used in Japan to exercise spirits of disease who are thought to hate the odor. So oh. disease spirits don't like mugwort. Okay. Um, in China, it's hugged over doors to keep evil spirits out of building. Well, that's cool. That's really good to know. And rosemary. I love rosemary. Well... Isn't that impractical ma- magic? What was it? Put lavender, rosemary, I don't remember, something. I don't, I like watched that movie maybe like once. I watched I was it more... zero times, so we were Okay, ready. yeah, sorry. Sorry, you guys can quote, you can I'm yell like at me. I'm like the worst witch ever. I'm literally, <laughs> and there is a worst witch. There literally is a, it's called the worst witch. Really? There is. Is it's, it it's in a that book. movie? It's a book. Oh. It's a book, and then it's a little girl. She goes to like a witch school. It was before Harry Potter, <laughs> oh, and awesome. she's known as the worst witch. Oh it's, my god! It's one, that that movie I grew up watching. Awesome. All right, Mosemary, when burned, emits powerful cleansing and purifying bra- vibrations, and so is smoldered to rid a place of negativity, especially oh. prior to performing magic. So good pregame. Okay, that is then. So that makes sense why they sprinkled it. Probably, I think, outside or whatever mm-hmm. around their perimeter of their house. Laid under the bed, it protects the sleeper from all harm. Cool. Mm-hmm. So rosemary and mugwort together. Yep. Put that. Yeah. Good, good sleep herbs because you know 
It's hard to be on the defense while you're sleeping. Okay, and um, don't throw us under the bus because you know this 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 stuff grows everywhere. I I'm, I know the natives. It's not cultural appropriation. <laughs> it's just we like it and we're gonna use it. Yep. With honor and, and we do get it from yeah exactly. So uh, this one is uh, which sage? This is that a desert mountain prosperity. Uh yeah a mount yeah mountain. Mountain birds or something yeah. mountain sage um so to cleanse the house um so one thing we like to say when you're using any of these you want to smoke it up like you're smoking with snoop dog or cheech and chung the house should be very smoky it's a very, <laughs> i mean you got a nice thick uh wrap there yeah that but the smoke is what's doing its job um and we have a whole bunch of different uh smudging sticks um these are five dollars yeah five dollars each and then we also have cedar. Um, cedar is very grounding. Yep. And that's also five. So really, we do have a bunch of them. Uh, but you really want to, like, smoke it up in there. After an hour, you can open doors and windows. But do you, if you open the doors and windows when you're doing this, you're literally not... It's like, you know, killing out whatever uh, you're doing. So you're wasting money. The money's going out the door mm -hmm. of what you're trying to do. Yeah, you, you want to give it time to work. And this is Mullen. This was actually made by Zach. Is it really? Yeah. So this is one made by our in-house uh, folk magic. Uh, he does a craft ton of stuff. I can't even think off the top of my head. But yeah, Zach's what? Limpas? He's going to yell at me because he's going to read this. I'm not even going to try. Well, you I'm know, white. He can he can come on here and advertise himself. Yes, but, um, exactly. So this, this weird looking buffy thing is a mullion candle. Um, I guess it's like a mullion branch dump, uh, dipped into wax. And I'm sure mm -hmm. it's also blessed somehow if Zach is the one making it. Yep. Um, so mullion, um, regarded as the most potent safeguard against evil spirits and magic, hung over doors and windows carried in sachets, it's used to banish demons and negativity. So that's what he made. Then we have a bunch of those. How much are uh, prices on those? So this is the slightly longer one. It's about a foot long. This is uh, nine dollars, and then we have a shorter one, which is maybe uh, eight inches or so. It's uh, seven dollars. Okay. Very cool looking. I mean, you know, just get one for the novelty, but definitely uh, probably burns really well too, because it's like actual uh, plant matter in there. It's not just a little thin wick. Yeah. I don't know what it smells like, but because I mean and smell today is that it smells awesome. Happen. Um, but speaking of smell too, we got uh, wax melts. Uh, this one specifically has black tourmaline powder infused, so helping ground that energy and uh, protection. Beautiful. And actually, it smells it smells really good. It has lime, basil, and mandarin. I love the smells on those. I also love their energy. It's a really right. good brand. Okay. Um, what else we got? You know, one thing we have not talked about yet is our favorite but, song. Oh, our lab. One of our favorite our Labrador. songs. Labradorite. So Labradorite is a good magical protective stone. Like, if you're a magician, you deal with other magicians, you know, and you just, you want to, like, have good vibes and not go around offending people. Um, Labradorite's a good one. It's another subtle one that'll help you kind of sneak under the radar. Not like if you're trying to do anything hostile, just like if you're just trying to live and let live, Labradorite will keep uh, keep you from having a target on your back. Um, and, you know, it's, it's also a stone if you're trying to, like, go to other dimensions or be uh, working on many levels of reality. I feel um, like this is like an ancestral stone too. Like your yeah. ancestors are going to be like, I got you. You use this, Definitely. your ancestors are going to show up and it's like, you, you're you protected. And then you can also go to other planes of reality to solicit helpful spirits, you know, or it, it's just, it helps you be more aware of what's going on too. That so you can really deal with it flashy. Really I'm sorry. I know. No, no you're right. Like, it's got like it's pink like, and purple in it's it. Like, really flat it's like at me and i'm like hi yeah hello hi. A little lab hi, Larry. Are you me? <laughs> i don't know you might go home with me Who all knows? right well then this one is uh maybe maybe so but we've got a bunch of these labradorites um mm. so this one is also really really flashy this one is a lot of uh orange and green and gold and some really beautiful blue Woo! even brighter on this side and how much are those guys? These are twenty dollars. Oh, not bad. It's not a nice, bad at all. Nice size palm. Um, I forgot. We also have smudge soap. Woo! Um, I've talked about this a bunch of times, but this is probably my favorite soap. Um, I'm not a huge bar soap fan because I, 
I'm a cosmetologist and when we were taught in beauty school was to use more liquid soap because bar soap can kind of grow bacteria when it sits around, which it, it, yes and no. Um, but that's why I um, say to cut a slice. So slice a piece of what you want and then put the rest not in your bathroom because it's the, the moisture that um, causes bacteria to grow. That's a good idea. So um, so slicing it, but she's in Reiki charges this. She's put smudge in there and there's also a um, crystal in there. So it's it's four dollars there. It's a nice big size guy, but it smells good, too. And then we also have like a smudge candle. That's a little feather. That was cute. Um, and this guy is four dollars as well. And then in case you guys, I'm going to give you a couple of these. We're not going to talk about all these because I'm sure you guys are sick of us talking. But um, I'm going to have you fan these out real quick. Absolutely. And I'm going to fan these Good ones books. out. We've got a bunch of books on protection. Books. So if you do, you are like, I need protection. Well, protection guess what? Spells. Psychic well, yeah. protection. Spiritual protection. Protection, uh, protection magic. Psychic self-defense. That was classic. Yeah, so we've got all of these. So let us know. If you want any, need any help, those books will probably help you in the best. We also have a couple other books that are, like, specifically for empaths against getting, like, psychic bombardment. Yeah, and I'm actually, I'm uh, me and one of the other readers are thinking of doing an empath class. That would be great. Um, just because we've, we're just noticing this more and more of the influx of people coming in and saying that they're mm -hmm. empathic and they're noticing that they're, you know, um, feeling too much energy is getting drained so to help teach them yes i would strongly support such a class yes. i get a lot of uh clients you know just coming online as empaths exactly and i'm actually excited about your class right here for me what is your your class is about we yes, sir. Her. yes we oh. just did crystals for prosperity next month we're doing crystals for weight loss uh, -oh. uh in the meantime i've got a shamanic journey circle coming up on friday april 22nd oh, called gaia awesome. and the new earth and, and that's on uh that's actually on earth day yes it is on earth day it was that or tax day i thought earth day would be more fun yeah earth day yeah well you're kind of tying the two together so yes that's right so Perfect. so yeah you can uh to find either of those events you can go on the website not a thousand percent sure the crystal one is up yet but it will be hopefully Shoot. within the next day or two um, the journey circle is thirty dollars. It's seven to nine on Earth Day, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So here's a few of our bracelets. We have, you know, we have a bunch of bracelets that are protective here. This is black tourmaline. Um, this one is hematite and amethyst, both of which are good protective stones. We didn't talk a lot about hematite, but I wear hematite every single day. I've worn it for like 10 years and never stops being relevant. It, it like keeps me in my body. It keeps like, you know, spirits that I don't want around from latching on to me. It's, it's just like, it's a really good stone balances the energies to keep other crap from coming in. Uh, Mystic, you and me both, sweetheart. She's like, I need to sleep in a bed of crystals for late loss. Uh, that's what I do. <laughs> she does. My, I bet you she. <laughs> yes. My my bed is full. She's of a crystals. crystal healer. Yes. She's our in house. In case, welcome. <laughs> this is this yeah. is seven. She's our in house crystal healer. Yeah. But. Yeah. God forbid I should ever have a guy over. He's like, oh, what's this? What's this? He's what's probably this? getting like, poked Hello. with yeah. other things besides. Like, sorry, they were there first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a multi tourmaline bracelet, which includes black tourmaline, I but love it's that. also like I love it too, and I love the mix of energies because it's like loving and beautiful. Because red and green tourmaline are very much about like love, right. and like which caring. love I feel like conquers everything. Anyway. It does, and then the black tourmaline is a good like grounding influence. All that it's like yes, you can be a sweet, open person in the world and not get your ass handed to you. Right. And then this is green aventurine, which we don't hear as much about, but it's really good for protecting the heart chakra. I if you're one of those like you, bleeding heart good. types, which I am, um, you know, I, I like to carry green aventurine to help protect against like that. And this also has uh, hematite with it. And this is 12. This is 15, 12. And 12. So most of our mm -hmm. bracelets are in about most the 12, of our 12. It's just the tourmaline is a little bit pricier because it's harder to find the yep. different colors Definitely. of the tourmaline, at least lately, I should say. So, um, but we have a bunch of bracelets. We also even have pendants. 
rings, you name it. We didn't put all of them out. We, I literally probably could be on here all day. Like we have a 5,000 square foot store. Oh, yeah. um, we are offering personal shopping. So if you are wanting to shop from home, you can um, go to our website and uh, book a time and we can personally shop for you. Um, just let us know what you're looking for and we gladly do that. Um, and then um, check us on our lives. We're here Tuesdays again, 1230. Um, and then uh, Thursday evenings are usually all the new stuff that we got in for the week. And that starts at 730. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free um, after the live, leave comments or shoot us a message. We love the feedback. We love the interaction. We like to know what you're looking for or what we can do to help you on your journey. That's the whole purpose of this store. It's, I think I... I'm sure Seven can agree with or me on this. Um, this is like a second family to me. Like this is absolutely this, like I come here and this is my happy place. I agree with you. So we are all love here, even if we sometimes have interesting ways of expressing it. Yes, but you know, like but family. with fam with families, yeah. you have your ups and downs. Yes, yeah. it happens. But for the most part, it's it's like I want when I come here, I'm I'm in a peaceful, happier mood. Yes. And we are very, very happy to serve you guys. You know, like, we're, we're very excited to be on the forefront of, like, the emerging magical consciousness that is rapidly going mainstream. We're very excited to be able to serve so many people in the community and to help guide people and give them the tools they need to succeed in this crazy magical world. Yeah, and that, that can include online. Like, I know not everybody's in the Cleveland area. So please, like, interact with us. We want, we want that interaction. We want to help you. Um, guide you on your journey so absolutely and just a few more bracelets before we get out of here this is rainbow hematite it's hematite but it's coated um with stuff What's just to make it cooler titanium, looking I think. yeah so really cool looking still very effective as grounding and protecting this is amethyst beautiful beautiful color this one is uh 12 this is garnet um this is like a nice uh it's not a the big round like six or eight millimeter bead so it's lighter it's easier to carry and it's less expensive. This one's only six dollars. All right, Mary Crow. I didn't. I forgot that. I didn't realize that's you. Um, can I have the pirate? The pirate tower. Yay! So this is Mary Crow's. All Mary right. Crow is one of our our regulars. She's down in Tennessee, actually. We love that pirate tower. Congratulations on yes. a great buy. So I'm gonna put those aside for you. And I, I hear Gina's coming up here. When's Gina coming up here? She's gonna be going crazy in this store. We've got this multi, this other multi tourmaline bracelet, which again is like kind of pebbly looking. If you're looking for something with a little more uh, variety and visual interest than the round beads, this multi tourmaline is 15. And then here's another chip bracelet, smoky quartz. The sun we didn't talk about, but it is no, also smoky good. quartz is a really good negative, like getting rid of yes. negativity. Yes. Also the EMF from if in and without. Yes. And it's clarifying, so if you're, like, confused and aggravated by, like, too many emotions, it'll protect you from those by, and like, just it, kind of sucking them up. And it just being a quartz in general is going to amplify that up, too. That's right. And that's only $6. We've got a lot of these chip bracelets. We've got a lot of these round bracelets. Pretty much, like, we don't have every stone in bracelet form, but we have, like, a usually chunk. a few dozen varieties at any time. So come and check out our selection. And like I said, if you're you're not local, just send us a message. We'll try and find it for you. Or, um, you know, we're always getting new stuff in every day. So, how much more time do we have, Lori? Or are we about done for the day? I think we're good. We're we're at an hour because right. I know Melissa's out there by herself, and I oh, want to. No! Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to leave her. Oh, Sounds no. like there's a couple of people out there, so we want to get back onto the floor. But feel free to leave us comments and stuff afterwards and rewatch this. Um, but we'll see you on Thursday. Bye. -bye. Medusa says bye-bye. Yeah, that's actually been cool. Rawr. And...